Oh, shit. Oh, shit. What's up, guys? Welcome back to the channel. We're back with another episode. Yeah, it's been a while, but we were out here at this local pond. And we also have a river right behind us. So we're gonna be doing a little multi-species challenge with one bait. I'll show you that in at the end of the video. Today, we're gonna see if we can catch as many fish as we can, but it has to be different species. So we can include smallmouth, bluegill, largemouth, uh, spotted bass, trout, you know, the list goes on and on and on. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And uh, so yeah, let's begin this challenge. Boom! I may have actually found a little good spot. Let's see what we can get right here. Yup, yep, there's something there. Definitely had a bite. I think they may just be hit the worm, not the hook. So let's see what we can do with this now. Got him. Oh, wow. That is the smallest bluegill I have ever seen. Got him through the eye. Look at that little guy. That would be the perfect size for a bass. But I'm gonna let this guy go. Maybe another day. Felt something bigger tugging. Maybe we can catch it. That's pretty much one bluegill down. There might be a giant one in here. Oh, got him. Another small one. I guess there is no giants in there. This will do for today. At least the skunk is out of the uh, bank here. Let's try to catch one more in here. There we go. Bigger one. Bigger one. Wow. Y'all see that? That bluegill turned into a stick. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? We're gonna catch that one. That was a good, good size bluegill. There we go. Yep. Keep getting bigger and bigger. Okay, guy. Hold up, guy. All right. Let's go to the next spot. Maybe we can catch a bass and a trout. Got him. Oh, it's a bass. It's a bass. Come on, stay hooked. Stay hooked. Stay hooked. We got him. Yeah, sick. Check that out, guys. Nice catch on a power bait. It's three dollars at the Walmart. Power bait, drop shot hook, and one of these Ozark Trail at Walmart as well. It's like a dollar eight for a pack of eight, I think. But look at that. What a nice bass coming out of this little pond or reservoir. I don't know what it is. Let's get this guy back in the water. Nice little chunk. Let's go catch a trout maybe. We got three bluegills and one bass. There he goes. Let's go. Got him. What is this? good size bluegill that makes four bluegills and one bass we're still looking for a trout we may not find it in this pond so i'm gonna show you where we're gonna go let's get this look at he choked it guys choke that thing look how durable that is you can use this like four or five times before it goes they stacked up right there we're gonna leave this spot alone for a little bit and guess what if you want to catch some trout look at this we just turn around there's a stream right over here. So we're gonna try this little spot. See if we can catch us a trout. It's weird, we got bluegills, bass over there. We got a trout over here. May have some smallmouth over here too. It's like a whirlpool right here. Okay. 
There we go. There we go. We got something. What is this? Feels like it's fighting like a smallmouth. Oh, uh, oh, it's a smallie. It's a good river smallmouth. Heck yeah, guys. This is our third species for the day. Third species. Yeah. Nothing but a few Walmart supplies. We can catch us some fish. Go on, little guy. See you in the next one. Wow, I just missed it. Whatever that was, I just missed it. Big time. There we go. What we got? What do we got? Yo, yo, another species. Yo, what is this? Is that a creek chub? Yo, this is a this is a creek chub, guys. I've never caught one of these before. That just looks so weird. Well, I guess I can lip him. Yeah, I definitely cannot lip him. All right, creek chub, another bucket list fish, I guess. That is the fourth species today. Bluegill, large mouth, small mouth, creek chub. If we can get that trout to bite, we'll have five species in one day. There you go, buddy. Are you dead? Come here. Are you dead? You shouldn't be dead. There you go. You can make it. There you go. He's good. Yeah, let's go. Yeah. Oh. My gosh. There has got to be a big old bass in this one. Yo. Yo, I got something. It's the biggest bluegill today. Doesn't look like it gets much sun. Look how purple that is. Pink, purple. <laughs> That's a belly flop and a half. Yeah. I swear though, one of these hook sets is gonna be like a big old five pounder. Guarantee. Ha. Look at that. I think this is another new species. Some sort of sunfish. This one actually looks really good. See you, buddy. That makes, I believe, five species if you want to count that as not a bluegill. Don't think it was a bluegill. Yo, yo, what do I got? Yo! Looks like a war mouth. It's got a bigger mouth than a bluegill. Another species? Maybe it was the same one I just caught, but bigger. I think that's what it is. Good catch, though, nonetheless. This bait is destroying some fish today. Look at that orange breast on it. <laughs> okay, all right, let's make it happen. <laughs> all right, first cast, this new spot. Yo, what am I getting hung on? Oh God, that's a fish. That's a fish. What is that? Yo, guys, is that another creek chub? Yo. It's a much bigger creek chub. Look at this guy. Yeah, it's another creek chub. Horny head. No, we call this a horny head in Tennessee. Look at that. See the horn? Go, get out of here. Go. Go. There he goes. That was a good catch. That's another species. I don't know if you call that a creek chub or a horny head. We'll count that as another species. So it's five or six species right now. Still looking for a trout. We got to get a trout today. We got to. Got him. What we got? That's a small mouse. It's a chunky one. Definitely a fighter. Good one for this river. There we go. Another smallie in the books for the day. Drop shot. Oh shoot. Oh shoot guys. We just fell in. Oh my God. My shoes just got soaked. Wow. All right guys. That might be the end of me. All right, guys. 
We are back home, about a couple hours of fishing. I wanna show you what I used today to catch all the fish I did. We caught about eight or nine different fish. They were all on this right here, the Berkeley power bait. These are the power honey worms. You can get these at Walmart for like three to four bucks. Comes with a whole jar full of these little things. They're so realistic. Fish cannot resist it. So what I did today was hooked it on a drop shot rig. Got about half a foot of leader to the sinker. We got a small little size, 10 or eight. And then we got the power worm. Six pound fluorocarbon. The setup I had on it today was the new PC Fun Serpent Rod. This is a 7-2 drop shot rod. Really awesome for trout and bass. And I've caught so many different species as well. And also we have the new PC Fun Reel that I'm testing out. This is the Honor XT. I've had it for about a month, putting in good work. So, so far it's been doing pretty good. They had a Honor before, which I did not get to try it but this one, I really like this one. The only thing I don't like about it is the loud drag. It's kind of loud. But other than that, the whole reel itself is pretty smooth, pretty awesome. Cast is a long distance, really good with braid, really good with fluorocarbon. PC Fun's infamous EVA foam grip right there. I love these. 11 ball bearings, 6.2 to one high speed gear ratio. The weight's a little heavy, for my taste. I like the ones that are less than seven ounces. This is around eight ounce, eight point something. But overall, I did the job for today's video. We caught largemouth, we caught smallmouth, we caught bluegills, we caught sunfish, we've caught horny heads, we've caught creek chubs. The only thing we didn't catch today that I was hoping we did catch was trout. So, Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Smash that like button if you did. Make sure to hit that subscribe button and also click the post notification bell so you can stay tuned to all my videos when I upload. And I will catch you guys in the next episode. Make sure to hit up the PC Fun channel. Subscribe to their channel. We'll see you next time on Keep Fishing Board. <laughs>